Alrighty, I wanted to do a little video on the uh, Ross custom switches. Um, this is the 10 plate 072 switch that uh, they offer. And I believe they offer a number four and a curved part for the number four to uh, match to go back straight on the opposite side of the turnout if you want to use it that way. And it comes with one of their standard uh, switch machines, uh, the DZ1000. And uh, I just put it in here, cut it into one of the main lines on the layout. And I took a little bit of a sandpaper block, I use the real fine ones. And I just run over all the little rough spots, you know, like you do on just about any turnout. And the gauge on this one seems to be very good. Uh, the interesting thing about this switch uh, is that this is one thing Steve told me, the owner. If you happen to damage one of the rails, let's say you drop a hammer and you put a dent in the rail, all of these rails can be unscrewed and replaced. So I thought that's pretty cool, you know, if something like that did happen to, to happen. And uh, this is uh, the uh, Menards track I did the other review on, and it mates up pretty well to it. Uh, I had to do a little more extra, a little crimping on here. Uh, it's not quite exact, but you know, I've seen that almost every turnout ever made. They're just a little different. It's smooth though, you know, then I just take the, uh, the block and smooth over, knock all these little hard edges off. Anyway, I wanted to run a couple of uh, locomotives through here to give you an idea. Now this locomotive here is a Lionel uh, Pacific Lime Chief Plus. It's not the, uh, the Bluetooth one, it's the one that they came out with before the Bluetooth. And it's got the cruise control and everything, like an MTH engine. Anyway, I was going to run this through here, give you a little bit of a shot. Is it going through the switch on the uh, opposite side there? Pretty smooth. I didn't put the tender on because that's just redundant. I mean, the, almost all your box cars and things like that run through these things like glass. I'll show you that here in a minute. And that's going through reverse a little faster. It's just a little bit of a bump. Not bad at all. Do it again. Just a little bump, and I noticed that on this particular locomotive, versus all my other Lionel locomotives, that the uh, the flanges are not near as deep as, say, this uh, you know, the old two four zero or whatever this was. Anyway, uh, now here is uh, Thomas. This thing finds every little problem I've got on the track everywhere. So it's very sen track sensitive. And uh, I'm going to put the switch to the right position. Goes through there without an issue. Go back. I mean, hardly a little bobble there. That's it, you know, but the flanges on it's a little bit different runs more like a you know a diesel running through it than anything else I mean going through straight that's that's pretty smooth versus going through the fast track switches this thing would hardly go through without bumping severely not much of a bump there I mean that's you know that's not bad at all I mean it's very smooth you know definitely worth the uh, the price for that now this is the uh, other line chief engine i've got let me get this other out of the way here trying to do this with a uh, film with one hand and run the locomotive with another okay we'll run the little line chief through there this is the little 442 It has a little more of a bump uh, going through there. 
that's not bad. I mean, you know, even through their fast. Hardly nothing. I'm going through the opposite side. Sorry if this is a little jerky, but I'm trying to do it with one hand. It's a little bit of a drop. But that is just pretty smooth. I mean, yeah, it's got a little bit of a bump, but whoop de doo Anyway, uh, so these particular engines all run very well through it. Now, this is an old uh, Lionel Caboose that I got back when I was probably five or six. And I noticed it, I, I said Caboose, I'm sorry. Tender, yes, I do know what it is. Uh, I mean, I ran every, uh, several cars through here. These things just roll through like they're on solid rails. It's just smooth as glass. And even in the uh, turn, the uh, curve part. I mean, you don't feel a drop. Uh, because Steve told me that they make his fro his frogs are set to the depth of the wheel flanges on the cars, which that makes sense because it actually has to ride through on the flange. I mean, that just makes sense. And this is the tender for the uh, little 442, and it's you know goes through there like. Like glass. Um, anyway, um, these are about the same price as a fast track switch. Um, but the great thing about it is, like I said, they match up right up to the uh, tubular track. And he kind of makes these as he needs them. They don't keep a lot of these on hand, from what I understand. Now I'm going to have to go back through here because the only real negative thing I've seen here, this uh, centerpiece here which can be also unscrewed and taken off. Everything is screwed down on here. It's pretty cool. And it doesn't really match the center rail, so I may have to file that down a little bit. But, you know, um, and then that may cause a little bit of a bump on a roller or a locomotive, but I haven't really noticed it. But anyway, this is the right hand number seven, uh, 72 uh, radius. I've got a number four coming, I think. Or maybe it's just another uh, 72. I can't remember which one I asked him to get me. And I'll take a look at that one. Uh, but these are extremely smooth. Uh, so far, really pleased with it. Uh, like I said, it just took a little bit of a sanding on the joints. These little rough spots. Because, you know, you have to do that with just about any commercial turnout. In any scale you're in. you got to tinker with them a little bit. And some seem like they're really good. Some just you know the fast track switches I had this time around when I tried fast track uh, they were just I don't know if the tooling has changed or something because I just could not get uh, any of these locomotives to really run through their smooth especially this uh, line up Pacific it just did not like any of them I forget the uh, 031s and 036 switches it did you know and I haven't tried a diesel through here but if Diesels are more like freight cars, though. The wheels move with the, uh, you know, the trucks, they turn, and more like a, it's more like running a freight car, but that is just a smooth as glass. And I'm sorry, this is so jerky. I'm trying to keep it still. Um, anyway, I guess that's all I got to say about that. Um, can't think of anything else. I haven't wired the switch machine up yet, and you can wire these for, uh, not the non derailing feature, you have to put the pins in and then put wires and run it, you know, and all that. There's instructions in his uh, in the box that came with it telling how to do that. If you have a problem, you can give him a call. Uh, I'm real happy with it, so, and I'm glad I chose these. I wish I'd known about them before I got the fast track. I didn't even know they made such an animal. Anyway, um, any questions about it, just, you know, put in the comments or and let me know and I'll see if I can answer it. Uh, this is the first ones I've even seen. I haven't seen any on YouTube uh, that's been reviewed. Uh, anyway, it's I'll give you a little close up there. That's the screws that are in there. And uh, I don't know what these little white pins are for. I'm not really sure. I think they're more for strength or something for something going across the bottom. I really don't know. 
Uh, maybe I'm supposed to take them out. I don't know about that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's pretty robust. I like how you can unscrew it and take the rails out. That's really cool. It's modular. You can actually repair something yourself, you know. Anyway, well, I guess that's all for now.